Hello folks, today we are going to be cutting open a Tesla tire. One of the best comments that I got recently was someone really liked my saw on the wall. So today, the saw is off the wall, we're putting it to good use. I actually bought this saw specifically for this video. I also cut some branches out here because uh, the HOA was pissed at me because my branches weren't eight feet above the sidewalk. And they sent me a picture, like instead of them just coming to the door and saying, hey, like if you wouldn't much, I get a picture, I get a letter, I'm like, dude. Anyways, also this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. We're gonna talk about them in a little bit. It's a 60 second integration and you're going to enjoy it. But right now what we have to do is cut open this Tesla tire. So this tire, it just doesn't have a lot of tread on it. You can see it's actually worn in the middle probably because I had it over inflated. I was running these at about 45 PSI uh, sometimes slightly higher. You're supposed to be running your Tesla tires at 42 PSI. These had about 20,000 miles on them and I drove this tire across the country. So it's a little worn in the middle so that's a sign of overinflation. Uh, I highly recommend just running your tires at 42 PSI especially on road trips. Uh, with any vehicle your tire presser is extremely important for performance and efficiency of the vehicle. So I'll have a, down in the description, I'll have a tire pressure gauge that I use. Uh, I always carry it with me in the car that's highly useful and a pump that is awesome. So those two things I use across the country, but that's what this tire is from. Um, also, you will notice, and I've shown this before in a previous video, that there's this foam padding on the inside of here. So this pad, uh, you know, you, when you see YouTubers uh, in the backgrounds of their videos to have better sound quality, they will have this deadening material to just reduce the boom in the room. And I think that's the same exact thing that Tesla was doing to reduce road noise. So instead of making their car more insulated, they said, hey, let's just try and fix the tire, which I think it's better to insulate the car as opposed to the tires. The other problem is this tire costs $281 compared to costing about $183. When I replaced my tires, I went to TireRack.com. So because of this foam layer, you're paying an extra $100. So on the other ones, on my 20s that I have in the garage, I got them without the foam layer, and I haven't noticed a difference. Now, I haven't measured a difference. Like there, I don't know how you can possibly quantify that. It's probably minimal, but I haven't personally noticed a difference, so I don't feel it's worth the extra $100 per tire to do that. But anyways, I'm gonna try and cut this thing in half with a bandsaw, and um, and it's probably not gonna go well. So let's just get right to it. Ah. Also, what tire do you guys recommend? Everyone says the Goodyears are garbage. I think Michelin makes the best tires out there. Um, I got a, a Korean brand on the Model Y right now called Laffins, and they actually have been working great. They were 143 bucks a tire. So let me know what you guys recommend for tires, uh, all season, performance, Whatever. Time to cut. I'm interested to see what's inside of this. The other thing that's interesting to me is when I had my first um, Tesla, yeah. When I had my first uh, flat with Tesla, one thing that Tesla likes to do is uh, they don't like to replace the entire, like, anything. So like for example, if something goes wrong with your battery and let and start no, no, no. instead of replacing like a module in the battery that can fix it, they just want to swap out the entire battery. So like I got a nail in this section of the tire. Like I got a nail like right here. I sent it to Tesla and I've expected them to just repair it. And they were like, "No, we can't repair it." And I was in uh Vegas on a work trip, so I couldn't do anything. So they just, they're like, yeah, it's 355 bucks. They replaced the whole tire. I recommend going to a third party shop, go to Pet Boys, go to Discount Tire, get it replaced there because they'll repair it for free. As long as the nail is within the shoulders, right here, within the shoulders of the tire, they should be able to repair it. If it's on the sidewall, if it's out towards the edge, they might not be able to, but I wouldn't take it to Tesla for that. Anyways, more song. Mm -hmm. There's some pad in there, but then right here, there's actually metal. Let me get another knife. Rich Rebuilds would have had like 12 kitchen knives out by now, but I'm working up to his level. He's the ultimate knife guy. 
All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we've broken through. I mean, I see what the what people mean about the sidewall being weak, because if you actually, I mean, there's not really much there. I don't, I mean, I've, it's my first tire I've cut open, so I actually don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure there's an expert in the comments. There always is. So there's two pieces of metal around this seam here, around the inside of the tire. So that's why it feels very rigid down there. I might have to rotate up. Maybe we can cut across the top here, just like a local hospital ER sponsors this video. I'm gonna cut my hand off. Uh, the neighbors have to wonder, you know? <laughs> okay, the neighbors think I'm selling dope. Oh, shit. We got some, uh, we got some sparks, folks. Yeah, I just cut through a bunch of wire there. Okay, so there's a bunch of wire starting. So just so you guys get an idea here, there's wire that starts here at this part of the tire, so right here. And then there's wire that starts right here, so on this part of the tire. So there's actually lines, maybe this line here, and then uh, that line right there is where all the wiring so far that I can see in the tire. So we'll continue to cut across, but I think this is a good stopping point to talk about our sponsor in the video, Surfshark VPN. To the men and women watching this channel, I know you like my sick comedy, and for that reason, I know that you're looking up some pretty weird things in your free time. For this reason, you need a VPN, and more specifically, you need Surfshark VPN. It took me less than five minutes to set up, and now I can safely cruise through the internet with my data being fully encrypted so big companies and big tech can't look at my information. A VPN, or virtual private network, keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected. Also, a VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. So, for example, The Office is not currently being shown on Netflix, so I can say, hey, I'm in London right now, it's being shown over there, and I'll be able to watch The Office. So you're able to watch certain shows that currently aren't available on your streaming platforms just by saying you're in a different part of the world. Also, for me personally as a YouTuber, occasionally I'm editing in Starbucks or other places, and because of that, I don't want to just be logging on to their public server. So instead of logging on to a public server and not being protected, all of my data is encrypted by logging into my VPN first and then connecting to the internet. So very useful for me and for you, those of you who are traveling for business or even personal use, it's just a safe thing to have. But now here's the crazy part. By using code Jeebs, you're able to take advantage of their Black Friday deal, which is 83% off and four extra months free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can take your money back and invest it in the Tesla stock. I've been using this VPN for a few weeks now, and it's been great, especially when I'm outside of my house. Just like I said with the example of me going to Starbucks or something like that. Anyways, the link is down in the description. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring the video. Now back to cutting this tire in half. Can't smell it. Well folks, we're back after that short advertisement. Um, time to cut. Interested to see how far across this I'm just adding tread to the tires now, see? It's a retread. Also, to those of you wondering, um, yes, February of this year, I quit my job. I do YouTube full time now. Been doing YouTube for about 10 years as something I enjoyed and then it, it's just like a passion burning inside me to like really go after this thing and, and put all my energy into it because you can't do it with a full time job. You can, but you just can't uh, put your full energy into it. One thing I will say is, is if you're considering quitting your job doing YouTube or doing something else full time, the freedom you have, like when I had a job, if I made a YouTube video, I'm out of breath. 
and the video bombed, like it didn't matter because I had a job, that's my income. But now when I make a video and it bombs, it's like, it, it's more serious, it's like, whoa, like this is my job and that just sucked. And you don't have, you don't have any uh, middle management telling you you sucked, you have the people telling you it sucked and they're not interested in it. So there is a creative freedom that comes with having a job and then doing a YouTube channel because you can do whatever you want. Whereas I'm still doing what I want, it just hurts a little bit more when things go wrong. So I'm on the other side where the grass is supposedly greener and just, just trying to let you in on that little insight. Hope that helps. I'm out of breath, okay, breath's back. <laughs> We're, uh, we've come to a conclusion here. Um, basically, you just run into this. Hopefully, the camera can see it, but like right in there, you have just this wire mesh that runs along the entirety uh, of the center part of the tire. So I'm just running into that. It's sparking. I'm not able to cut through with a bandsaw. I'd have to get some type of machine and cut all the way through. Yeah, so that's you can see where the wire is and isn't. And then you can also see just the inside of this tire, which I've shown before um, with the padding. Now, some people have said, well, can't they just fix the hole in the tire and then just cut the padding out? Like, here's what happens. If you cut, it's all like glued. Technically, I guess they could take something like this, get to the scene of where it's, where it's at, and just, you know, do that and cut out a section maybe. Maybe that's doable. Um, so yeah, you can cut out a section and then get to the hole and patch it up from the inside. Kind of what's amazing to me about tires is the fact that there is no tube in here. Somehow the seal is good enough to hold the air in and keep you safe because this is the only thing that protects you from dying. So yeah, that's the inside of the tire. Uh, that's where I got to where my cutting so I couldn't get through this area here. It's just all a bunch of wiring. And that's the difference with the Tesla tires having the padding on the inside and in my experience, I don't think it's worth it, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. I think it's worth the, uh, I think it's worth the savings in $400 to try the ones without it and then figure it out. Uh, you're gonna burn through your tire quicker anyways because it's too fun winning every drag race at red lights. But you'll have to let me know what your guys' experience is. Thank you for watching the video. If you're still with me, like the video, subscribe. That's totally free to you. And then also, if you wanna surf the internet and have your information encrypted, check out Surfshark VPN. The link is down in the description. It's only like a couple bucks a month, uh, even after your trial. So check them out. Awesome sponsor. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.